What's up, everybody? One Piece chapter 10,069 is out. We owe all there is to desire. Now, I'm seeing a familiar face here. Presented by Lufield Mads. Lone Shark King Lufield Mads Laboratory of Peace. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is the... Because it's Bluefield, and I could have sworn the original was Dufeld. I don't know if this is like a son or what. We thought that Dufeld got killed in Whole Cake Island by Stussy. Now, of course, there was no confirmed kill, I don't think so. This could just be like a romanization naming thing. Could be the same person. I'll have to look into that and see if there is a romanization for it. But it looks like he is funding Mads. Huh. Unless this is a flashback. Unless this is like the creation of Mads. And they're talking about how it started. Because that would make more sense, I think. But probably have to wait till the next one to see what's up. Yeah, they got Dr. Atlas. Intruders. Why is Sacred Pole doing this? This is a clean panel right here. I like the, the cross interaction. So then we got Bonnie caked up too. He gets Rob Lucci. They're really after Vegapunk. What are you doing here, pigeon guy? You realize this is a government island? Oh yeah, guess we're the ones out of place here. Luffy, let's hurry and head out. Deary me, the Straw Hat Pirates, and it looks like they're with Jory Bonnie. I love Kaku so much. Well, that's that, Lucy. We can't lay a hand on them. Straw Hat's officially an emperor now. We can't engage him without orders. Hmm. You can't engage him without orders. It's also interesting that they say Straw Hat's a officially an emperor now meaning that there's someone else so when morgan says that people are emperors there's someone in the government that's like okay we officially declare them an emperor look after bonnie jimbe Oof. that's right emperors have considerable backing behind them even a small tiff can flare up into an all -out war contact the navy Which makes sense and I think this, I think this goes more to say emperors are the top dogs because even the world government's like, listen, hold up. We don't want to just go fighting emperors like that. It's her, that kid from before. This is awful. Okay, so Luffy saw Atlas. I, I feel like we got to scale up how big Atlas was when she first got introduced, but she seems huge now. I'm aware of the consequences. That said, I feel like Gucci's not gonna back down. Chopper, do what you can for her. I'll try, but I think this is more of Frankie's forte. Keep out of this. It's government business. That kid gave us food. Navy HQ. The Straw Hat Pirates are on Egghead. Things keep getting messier. Bro, what is your neck doing? Is Vegapunk onto CP0? Afraid so. They had to force their way in. Do you think those brats would consult me before declaring war? If Vegapunk has cut a deal with Straw Hat, that's a major blow to our military superiority. Where's Kizaru? He's already left for Egghead as planned. Oh, snap. Kizaru on Egghead. Let's go. I wish you to wait for the Marines to arrive. Yes, sir. He's not to engage Straw Hat under any circumstances. He's definitely going to engage Straw Hat under all circumstances. Crash. Wow. Wow, wait, Luffy, don't start yet. You may be sure you want to do this, Luffy. We'll consider some major incident. What am I looking at here? I'm guessing this is Luffy. Is this Luchi? But he also has like the gear five cloud around him. Is Luffy in gear five or is that gear four? What's what's happening here? 
What the heck? Is that Lucia I always looked at? What speed? This is a rare sight. Most awakened zone powers tend to overwhelm the user's mind, but this. You're not the only one who's gotten stronger to straw hat. So he does have like a a cloud around him. Huh. Zone powers tend to overwhelm the user's mind. So this is an awakening, I would assume. Yep, awaken for him. Luchi, stand down. We still don't have permission. I wonder, is that a common theme for an awaken form? To have like that kind of god ring. Chaka, is he on screen, the white warrior? Whoa. It's the real Vegapunk. How did he get up here so fast? You wouldn't happen to know the story behind Straw Hat's transformation. Do tell. We're not really sure to be honest. Isn't it one of his gum gum powers? Is Lupin in Cure 5 against Luchi? That's funny, you see. There's no mention of any gum gum fruit in the old devil fruit encyclopedia. I mean, you say that, but that's what Luffy's always called it. How sublime. He looks just like that god described in ancient texts. God? Are you seeing how it's just Luffy? I speak of the warrior of liberation, whose antics could bring a smile upon anyone's lips, also known as Sun God Nika. So I think this is the moment we're going to start learning about not only Dill Fruits, but Luffy's in particular. And I think this is a good reason why Vegapunk should come with us, because I feel like he's going to have a lot of explaining to do about how he knows all this. And he's already telling the crew what they didn't really know themselves. Nika, I've never heard that name. Naturally, it's been wiped from history. And yet, as long as people's desires persist, such a thing will never cease to be. We owe all there is to desire, for instance. The Devil Fruits. Huh? Devil Fruits, all we call them appear to manifest a desired next step in the potential evolution of life. Gee, I wish I could do X, or if only we could do Y. Root powers actualize such wishes. Each one showcases a different possibility for the future of humanity. These deviations are of course unnatural, so it makes sense that they artifact the ire of mother nature. The sea itself, who has eaten a fruit, lives a totally alien existence born out of limitless permeations of imaginations. That's my theory, at least. Whether you believe there's a god there or not, one thing's for sure. We live in a wondrous world. Let me go over all that again. That was a lot. Manifest desired next step in the potential evolution of life. So basically a devil fruit is something that's like, I wish I wish I had a way to do something and that devil fruit actualizes in response to that wish. Or at least that's what it appears like. Because I still feel like there's some kind of not necessarily man-made element, but at some point the Devil Fruits had to have come just into creation in the past. And the sea itself who has eaten a fruit. Oh, I'm just reading that wrong. The sea itself, one who has eaten a fruit. Was a totally alien existence born out of the misprenious imagination. Okay. So the, the Z itself part comes from the discussion about the ire of Mother Nature. And then the one who has eaten the fruit lives a totally alien existence. And that's a theory, but I'm guessing it's a pretty spot on theory. And then we have a hockey clash. Uh -huh. This is supposed to be my day off. <laughs> what do you want, Grandpa Punk? It seems cut and dry. Cyberpool is on our side. Pirates of the enemy. So I just got to back up CP0, right? 
Not quite so tomorrow. The CP0 agents are actually after my life. It's hard to spring this on you, but can you chase them off? Wait, wouldn't that make me a traitor? True, this is a big decision. So we got Hawkeye, Boa, and Jimmy. Where's the Kuma one at? Never mind me, Zoom tomorrow. I only took you in when you were starving. Please do whatever feels right. <laughs> a mega punk. That's my arm, why don't you? This will be tricky. It's got three seraphims. Esper, take one out. It's no use, Kaku. We're at a handicap here. Esper, get rid of those suits. Fiddlesticks. I forgot that his orders trump the authority chip we have. Ooh, all right, so he it's going in. Wait a minute, hold on. What is this right here? It looks like he's doing the standard pop head swipe, but there are explosions, almost as if he's smacking a beam with his paws. I'm gonna need them to, to put some clarity on that. Yeah, because look at this this trail here. I'm assuming his hand followed this trail. And like it ends up here. And then we have like two explosions. Yeah, the command hierarchy for the pacifista isn't in our favor. Besides, they can't take orders via transponder snail. So the five elders, Vegapunk, Centimore, anyone with authority chip. So it's not like the five elders can help. Oh. So the five elders have the utmost, so I guess that means Emu has even higher than that. Come to think of it, destroying one of those gizmos would be a big loss for the government. Would a cue to look before you leave, Luigi? Come on, come on. More pistol. Oh, that's dope. Luffy punched into the ground, turned it into rubber, and then the punch came out of the ground. But it's still apparently as hockey because I messed this up. That's clean. Let's move. A snake, lead the straw hats to the vacuum rocket and see them safely through the frontier dome. S Hawk, S Shark, suppress CP0. Chopper, are my eyes playing tricks on me? I thought he looked familiar. Those brown guys look like ex warlords. Don't tell me they cloned us. Ooh, battle axe, long time no see. Don't nick me based on my weapons try it. We're not friends. Anyway, are you really gonna help Grandpa Punk escape? Yeah, he asked me. Don't sweat it. I'm not sure I can trust you. You're an emperor after all. What's with your appearance? Wish. I'm assuming speed. And gun. That's in tomorrow? Ooh. Luigi. That's not going to end well for you, my guy. That's not going to end well for you, my guy. Battle axe. All we have to do is cut the head off the snake. Now, Seraphim, obey us. That's going to end really bad for you, my guy. Okay, so we got a lot of devil fruit information in this chapter. Like an insane amount. And it still felt pretty short. But basically, Vegapunk has a theory on Devil Fruits. I was expecting him to have like exact knowledge. But he clearly states that it's a theory. Now it seems to be a well-versed and clearly thought out theory, but it's a theory nonetheless. Which means there's still some information he does not have on Devil Fruits. Which is interesting. He also mentions there's an old Devil Fruit book. So I'm wondering if like the one, I'm wondering if the one Blackbeard had was the old version. But I imagine the one Sanji had was the, the newer version. Interesting, so, so Awakened Zoans, I think, it's a trend for them to have that uh, that cloud around them. I wonder if that would be the indicator of like, okay, you're an awakened zone, or at least an awakened zone that has 
clarity. Because they even talk about zone powers over Lucius' mind, and that's kind of what we see with the prison guards. But with Luffy, he's a zone, he's awakened, he has control over his power. Uh, Luffy is a zone, awakened, has control over his power. It has the same kind of mythic look to him. So I'm wondering if that's kind of a trait of awakened zones that keep their sentience. And the ancient texts describe Luffy, which makes sense. So this form was used before. I wonder if it looked a lot like Luffy. Or if it, I mean, it's just a white warrior, so it's not necessarily super descriptive, but it makes me wonder just because like the ancient drawings and stuff too in Skypea, a lot of things looked similar to Luffy, but it could just be the way they draw it. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised, but also a little bit confused. Because it's good that Luchi got a power up. I still think he's not on Luffy's level. Seeing him clash is more along the lines of what I expected. I wasn't going to say it was going to be a complete wipe. I think Luchi's still getting folded, but seeing them be able to clash is good. We didn't need in this lobby, Water 7 Luchi here. Okay, that's going to do it for me. That was a good chapter. We got a lot of info on that chapter, man. Oh, and freaking mole pistol. That's, that move is clean. I like seeing things like this. I really hope we get to see more kind of just the, the essence of the fruit where it's ridiculous and creative and really cool. I want to see more stuff like that. Yeah. It was a really great chapter. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.